fight. Everyone, I got a ridiculous beard. It's hot outside. That can only mean one thing. It's time for another driver battle. Today we got something very, very, very special. I'm excited about it. These guys are excited about it. They're grinning from ear to ear. We got Steven Cronenberger and his Grand Sport Corvette. Yes. C6? C6, 2011. 2011 against Johnson Mack in an FD3S RX7. Yep. That's right, folks. Japanese rotary tech against American pushrod V8. This is going to be crazy. Both of the cars are very, very similar, very aerodynamic, very, very fast. And we're going to put you two against each other. Looking forward to it. So yeah. first things first, Johnson, Steven, do you guys know each other? Have you ever driven against each other? Um, never driven against each other, but we, we know each other on social media. OK. So that's how we met. Yeah. Have you guys ever been at the same time attack ever together? Uh, I think we've been together at Streets of Willow once, yeah. Yeah, but not like running against each other. Right, it wasn't a time attack event. It was more like more like a, like a high performance driving event. Yeah. And oh, we just happened okay. to be there at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Wow, all right. So speaking of social media, how did we find you for driver battles? Uh, you got in touch with me through social media, uh -huh. and uh, I knew about Driving Line from your previous battles. Yep. And uh, some of my friends actually competed in there before, so I, I was, I honestly wasn't expecting a, a message. Okay. So it was really, it was really quite a surprise. Nice. And Steven. Yeah, the you, same. You've I been think. chomping at the bit for like four episodes, right? Yeah, yeah. Like so, I was like bugging you, like sending <laughs> you like messages. Like, Can I join? I'd love to join anyway. So yeah, thanks for choosing. So now it's your time. Yeah. So there you go, guys. If you drop a comment, if you tell us what you drive, we actually call you and we actually make you prove it. So all of you guys out there who have something to prove, bring it on. But today, it's about you two. Yeah. So we're going to have you guys walk me through your cars. Johnson, first of all, first and first mostly, how are your Apex seals doing? Excellent. OK. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, guys. Excellent. You hear that? You can run an RX-7 at the track, and the Apex seals are good. Yeah, I drive it to the track. I drive it home. <laughs> it starts up hot, starts up cold. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So walk me through your car. What have you been doing to it? How long have you been driving it? The car was actually a project that my friend Friss at Lucky 7 built for a customer. Yeah, he ended up having to move. I don't want to part it out. Do you want to buy it? And I'm like, uh, all right. So then I sold my FC project to my brother. Yeah. So I got the car and uh, you know I buttoned up a bunch of things. There was some uh, wiring that needed to be done. I fixed that. Got it set up with the new wheels. I painted the roll cage. I finished all the little odds and ends. And then I took it out to my first track day. Wow, I'd never driven an FD on a track before and that was quite the experience. So since then I've been like learning the car, getting used to the power, figuring out what to do. Like I added arrow to it and I added some uh, better brake pads, you know, and I'm just gonna try to max out whatever I have. And if I need more performance, then I'll start upgrading. Nice. So, um, so yeah. What turbo are you running? It's made by a company called Turblown. Okay. It's uh, essentially a modified Garrett GT35. Okay. With a larger uh, compressor wheel. Oh, nice. And internally or externally gated? It's externally gated, but I've recirculated back into the exhaust. Oh, that's why your car sounds so crazy. Yeah, I want to run Laguna one day, so that's why I did it. I think it's already too loud for Laguna. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe. it's too loud. Yeah. <laughs> How much horsepower did it put down when you last dyno? Uh, about around 410. 410. And 330 foot pounds of torque. Okay. And how much is your car weigh? 28 with me in it. 410 for, with 2800, Steven. Yeah, that's, I mean, uh, there's an advantage here. That's a huge power to weight advantage. Yeah, but he's got the driving. <laughs> he's got the driving. OK, so it's on you, Steven. You have a Corvette Grand Sport? Yeah, it's a Grand Sport. It's so like why the, the Grand Sport? It's the poorest man Z06, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like I was planning to buy a Z06, but then like when I started to look for one, like I saw a lot of cars that they say, oh, new motor. And uh, so I started like to investigate why like so many cars with new motors for sale. Yeah. And then I saw that the LS7, the Z06 had some issues with like valves and like oh. uh, the heads. So then like I thought about the, the Grand Sport, which is the LS3 motor. Yeah. It still has like the wide body, but it's the LS3, it makes like 440 horsepower. I think yeah. that should be enough. Yeah. And it's cheaper than the Z06. It should be more reliable. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I went for it and then, yeah, I love the car. It's fun. So 440 horsepower on a Grand Sport, what does it weigh? It's like 3,200 oh, without okay. the driver, so yeah, 3,400. So you're a little bit of a power to weight disadvantage. Yeah, I, 
Yeah, and he's talking about like uh, 410 to the wheels, right? Yeah. Mine is like 440 crank, so it's maybe like 380 to the wheels. Oh, wow. So it has more power, lighter. Yeah, yeah. it's a And not arrow. Yeah. yeah, he's got more driver. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah and then it's called driver battle. Yeah. So yeah. Let's come down to you guys. Yep. What did you do to the Grand Sport? Not much. Like, I bought the car from uh, the original owner with like 13,000 miles. Yep. So, like, pristine condition. So, oh, this is going to be my weekend car. But, of course, like, I'm a track guy. I went, took it to the track. Like, first track day, I was just like sliding all over, like, with those like seats, the stock seats. So, I changed the seats. So, oh, it feels better now. I can drive the car. Yeah. And then, like, next step was the suspension. So, I put the MCS two ways. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, it's a good, like, uh, suspension. And uh, that's about it like and then i have like gyro disc rotors yeah. uh hawk pads and that's it rotors pads yeah and good tires good yeah. suspension yeah any tail ones and yeah that's all i have all right so two completely different worlds here and they're clashing to see who's gonna be the fastest around big willow this is kind of a ballsy track wouldn't you guys yeah. say yeah it's scary as hell <laughs> it is it I'm is white knuckling <laughs> yeah you know, the first couple of sessions yeah how are the nto ones oh they are awesome like that's my go-to tire for like the vets especially because they're like three two five tires yeah uh, so you don't want to be like changing tires all the time yeah. so the NTO ones they last like quite a long time yeah. so I buy I know I can use for like many events yeah. and yeah so it's feeling good I'm nice. used to the tires so yeah no no surprise there I know they are good nice so you guys barely know each other I mean you kind yeah. of know yeah. of each other yeah a driver battle sometimes there's a gentlemanly bet place I don't know I think I think the rotary versus v8 debate has been you know pretty strong these oh past couple of years. That's right. In fact, yeah. if you lose, yeah. you have to put a LS in your yeah. RX-7. That would be a good one. And if you lose, <laughs> you, have to put a, you have to put a rotary in your yeah. bed. Well, that's going to like <laughs> mess up with my car. Yeah. All right, guys, as usual, our driver battles are a time attack format. That's all day long to get the fastest lap of the day. These guys already went out for their morning sessions. They already dialed in their tire pressures. They've already gotten used to the track. But I think there's a lot more time to be had amongst the both of you out there. The track's perfect temperatures. So hey, who knows? Maybe they'll get faster, maybe they won't, but that's how we do it. And if you think you can beat their times, drop a comment, let us know. We'll see you next one. So uh, may the best man win. Good luck, man. <laughs>so the sun is setting to our right that can only mean one thing we are finished with our driver battles yep how yeah. do you guys think you did i think i did pretty good yeah yeah I knocked down my personal best by more than a couple of seconds yeah got to meet a lot of new faces make a lot of new friends so i'd say today was a success i'd say so too yeah. today was a really 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 fun day steven how do you think you did yeah, I think I did well. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I beat my PB here, yeah. but uh, it should be very close. The okay. car feel, felt good, the tires felt good, so yeah. Nice, and your previous PB was on NTL ones? Yeah, it was. Oh. Yeah, the same tires, yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's see. Mr. Consistency. Yeah, 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 they should be very close. So before I announce the times, have we agreed on you're putting a rotary in your car and you're putting an LS in your car? 
No. No, I'm adding power. Oh. <laughs> and coming back. Oh. And I arrow. Oh, okay. Arrow, okay. power, coming back. Yeah. And you're not adding rotors and headaches. No, I don't want that. Hey, I'm coming back with more driver mod. Oh, <laughs> more right foot. Yep, or right foot. <laughs> or more uh, more balls. Oh. <laughs> One of those three. Yeah. You guys ready to find out the times? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so we'll start. Johnson, we're gonna start with your time. One. Hey, that's already pretty good. Three. <laughs> One. Point six. All right. That's good. That's, that's a good. really good time. Rotary Arc 7. So like props to you for keeping it rotary. Props to you for getting that fast today on NTO once. Steven, faster or slower? I think I was faster. Oh, yeah. okay, finally the teeth come out. Yeah, there we go. I think so, yeah. You I think, think you're so. faster? Yeah, not by a lot, but yeah, slightly okay. faster. Oh, okay, sounds like you have some inside information. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because I know what, what my PB uh, uh -huh. here is, so yeah, I, it felt like close to what I did yeah. before, okay. so yeah. Okay, one, three. Jump roll, good. jump roll, yeah. jump roll. Okay. <laughs> 0.5. Okay. You want yeah. Yeah. Why was the Grand Sport so much faster than the Rotary RX-7? Ask him. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, why was the hey, Grand Sport? on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think I need more seat time here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my. This is only my third time here at this track. Yeah. So I think the next time I come back, uh, I could probably shave another second or two. Wow. So, yeah. I mean, the car has been a learning journey all along. You know, throughout uh, these years of ownership. So. Um, and I've certainly grown as a driver yep. and meeting new people. You know. In fact, as, as a testament, I think you went off, like you were going on a run. And you were going after a faster time. Yeah, I went off, turned You went three. off and like broke the bolt or something, right? I uh, bent my uh, splitter mounts, mm -hmm. and uh, I think I shifted my subframe a little bit. So I just need to go back to the alignment rack. And the reason why I bring this up is because if you guys could see it, Steven was underneath Johnson's car, helping him fix his car. Yep just so he can get back on track. So that's a huge testament to you guys. Thank you both for coming out. Yep. Huge testament to Driver Battles, anyone who signs up. We're just here to help, we're here to have a good time. And yeah, you may have won today, but truly you guys, like, I think you have a bond now. Yep, that's yeah, for, for sure. sure. How the tires do? Oh, it felt great, like, throughout the day. Yeah, I think, like, the track got a little, like, hotter, yep. uh, but the tires were, like, just fine. Yeah, the time, like, my times were, like, just consistent throughout from what I felt mm -hmm. on the track. So, yeah, tires are, like, as I said, like, it's my go-to tires for yeah. the Corvette. So, yeah, I, I like them and I'll keep using them. Nice. Johnson, you're going to stay on into it once? Uh, yeah, until they wear out. <laughs> yeah. you know, I shaved nearly six seconds off of them. And, uh, you know, I think that plus, you know, a good alignment does wonders for that car. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, definitely, definitely excited to uh, see what I can do with them. And I think another reason why you shaved the six seconds is because the tires didn't fall off. Yeah. So, like, no, you, could, you could hone in on your own driving all day long. Yep. If there was something like a tire that was super hot for two laps and you're still out there, no, you're not learning anymore. You're fighting your car. Exactly. So that was pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having us out. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thanks Thanks for coming out. Yep. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank awesome. You. Now you guys are going to do donuts around each other. Okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sick. All yeah. right. Well, congrats again. Yeah. Proud thank of you. you. Yeah, for sure. Johnson, it was amazing. Yep. That car sounded great. Thank you. A little bit more right foot and you'll get it. Yep. If you guys want to be in the next driver battle, comment, like, subscribe, share, do whatever you got to do. We found these guys through social media. We're going to find you through the comments or through social media. Let us know what you got. We are open to any build, any car, as long as it's fast. We want you to prove it. ARC 7 versus Corvette, I mean, that's like two worlds apart, but also still kind of in the same family. Front, front engine, rear wheel drive, and both really, really fast cars. So whatever you got, let us know, and uh, we'll get you out on the track. Send it. Yeah.